up sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats here with another dope on ones out reaction that is right we are back with another video from james because this is wednesday night and on wednesday nights we like to react to odd ones out and fam we are going down the list and another one that you guys have been reacting or requesting is that react to his video our cats that is right and then the other big one is hamsters i think we might do that next week let me know if you think we should but i'm excited to see his take on his cats and from what i'm looking at right now it looks like possibly a lot of them have passed so i guess we'll find out i'm beyond hype to jump into this but before we do make sure you show james aka odd ones out some love by subscribing to his channel and if you enjoy my reaction please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button it's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel but enough talking let's get to reacting and roll that ball message hot sauce beats is finally here hot sauce beats is finally here eat sleep make beats eat sleep make beats hot sauce beats oh bone saw is ready <laughs> if you thought my family owned a lot of hamsters, wait till I tell you about all the cats we had. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just a heads up though, some of the- Had. Notice he said had, not have or has. These cats are dead. They all lived nine happy lives. None of them had a painful death. Except for one, maybe. We don't know. We'll get into that. <laughs> uh -oh. So cats. Uh -oh. Some people think cats are jerks and not as loyal or loving as dogs. And they're right, but if you think about it, cat- <laughs> You're right, you're right. If you feel that way about cats, you're right. They're they're kind of sus. I feel like most people don't like other people's cats, but you love your, like, I'm not a big, I'm definitely a dog person or a bearded dragon. I'm not a big cat person. However, I love our cat. I love our cat. Our cat's awesome. It even plays fetch. It's super nice. I just go, like, you know, I go in a lot of people's homes for work and I see a lot of cats and they're just staring at me the whole time like they're contemplating my murder. Let's improve our lives every day. Think back to YouTube in 2006. What was popular? Cat videos. If it wasn't for cats, we wouldn't have YouTube as a platform, which I could make the argument is another jerk thing cats did. Now I'm a cat <laughs> lover and anyone who says they dislike cats has obviously never snuggled up with a cat and had it purr on your chest as you pet it for that so long awesome. that you both fall my favorite thing is like, let's say if you're laying, laying on your stomach and it comes up and it starts, I call it making biscuits, but it starts kneading on your back. Oh, that's the best feeling in the world. I would literally go to a massage parlor if they can get a cat to just massage my back. I would love it. I'd love it. Fall asleep and all your anxieties melt away and the only thing you care about is your fragile feline friend or they're allergic. Honestly, I think I'm slightly allergic to cats as well. Cause every time uh -oh. I snuggle up with one, my eyes get all watery, my nose gets all stuffy. Well, like, yeah, you're allergic. I can deal with that. Maybe you're this allergic, is what bro. love feels like. People like to put everybody into two categories. Either you're a dog person or a cat person. But why do I have to pick just oh, one? Oh, Can't I look at these two animals and say that both of them have good qualities that make them amazing pets? Why can't I pick both? I. I'm bisexual for animals. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Bro, I don't even know what to say to that. Oh, I think that's like one of those things, one of those moments when you say something and you're like, I already said it. I'll just roll with it. Wait. That being said, here's all <laughs> the cats I had growing up. So our family you say, had Shaggy? just moved to our new house. You and we're say, all Shaggy? getting ready to go to church when my older brother, who was outside for some reason instead of getting ready, heard noises coming from a bush. And when he went to investigate, he found a little baby tabby kitten. He told my parents about the cat, and they said its mom was probably looking for it. But if the cat was still there when we got back from church, then we could let it inside. And after we got back, my brother checked the bush, and the cat was still there. So Aww. we took her in, we fed her, and we decided to name her Shady Aww. after Eminem's The Real Slim Shady because she was an obnoxious cat and didn't like- I like the fact that we just got to see an odd ones out Slim Shady right there. That's pretty Is it all? Yeah, but she's so cute though. And that's how our family got our one and only cat. One cat is enough. There were no more cats. Until one night Until when I was, was sitting more. at the kitchen table and through the window of the back door, I saw two yellow eyes staring at me. And as a kid, I still thought monsters were real. So I pointed it out to my family, hey, there's eyes outside. And everyone turned and was like, what the? 
So we opened the back door, and a piece of the night just walked into the house like it lived there or something. Does this mean we have bad luck? Apparently, just waltzing in our house uninvited is a very effective strategy to get adopted because she ended up living with us for the rest of her cat life. My older sister loved Sailor Moon, wow. and in the show, there's this black cat named Luna. Spoiler alert, Luna's actually an alien that can turn into a human sometimes, but most of the time, she's just a cat. So we named the cat after her, and little old Luna fit oh, great off of a, uh, We were your Wonder standard Woman, right? nuclear family with two cats. Just two. We never got and another then... cat ever again. Until one day, this other cat appeared in our backyard. We put Luna's in shady... Bro, what? James, what is up with your backyard, fam? Literally, that's three. The, the, the first one was in the bush. The second one was at the back door. And this third one just popped up in the, out of maybe the same bush. Dude, what was, was it? Pets? Where they have like the... Se or no, I think it's cat versus dogs. They have the secret society. And maybe there's a secret society of cats under his... Backyard. Maybe. I don't, know. I don't know. Outside, which meant our backyard was basically a cat sanctuary for any cat that could jump our see? fence. And sometimes see? we would see this calico cat hanging out in our backyard. We didn't know if she already had a home, and she would run away from us if we got close. So we left out a third food bowl for her. And then she invited some of her siblings along because two other cats decided to chill in our backyard. And what? one of the cats the was a boy, which meant we had to get all five cats neutered. And just like that, we more than doubled the amount of cats we had. We were feline pretty good three more cats added to the family because why not that's the perfect amount of cats if you ask me <laughs> i'm gonna name them now what we're not getting three more cats two is enough what we can't just kick them out we're you see it's got a happy we're gonna find them bro. a new home but we're not keeping them okay also you're not allowed to name them what if you name them then you'll get attached to them, and we're not keeping them. So Batman. since her mom banned yeah, us from naming Batman. the cats, we called them the Calico Cat and the two other ones. And we kept calling them this until her mom found them a new home. Turns out that their new home was our home, because my mom never found them a new home. So we just left them food outside, and they were happy with that relationship. They would let you pet them sometimes and even sit on your lap, but if you tried to pick them up, they would hiss and bite you. They did not like being picked up or being inside. They were feral cats. One time it was wow. raining, so we thought it would be a good idea to bring the calico cat inside, but she freaked out. She hissed and scratched us. She hated being inside more than she hated the rain. And by the way, wow. cats can be very loud, like as loud as dogs. They just never raise their voices. They're too proper for that. So since she didn't like being Please. inside, we just put her back outside in the pouring rain. We ended up naming the boy cat Spot, the other cat we named Pepper, and the calico... We didn't Calico. change her name. We named her Calico. <laughs> that's like naming a that's dog a Golden cat, Retriever bro. or Chihuahua. I don't know if that's sad, but you know what is sad? One day, Spot just disappeared. He stopped showing up to the house, and we never saw him again. I hope he found a good home, but who knows, you know? Maybe he went off to start a second life, or a fifth or sixth life. <laughs> Get it? Because they have nine lives. Yeah, but he's probably dead. And then, I was in high school when Shady died. She had a good home with us, but it was her time to go. So we were down to three cats, and we never got another cat ever again. Until... But then one day, my parents were out on a walk, and my mom saw a scrawny black kitten on the side of the road, and she said, can we keep it? But my dad said, no, keep walking. Keep... <laughs> I see how the mom is now officially becoming the cat lover keep of the walking. house. And then on their way back from the walk, for some reason my dad didn't take a different route, the cat was still there, meowing at them. So my parents brought her home, and my twin sister named her Pepsi. My sister really loved Pepsi. I was more of a Coke person myself. But when my sister went off to college and I stayed home for community college, we let Pepsi outside one day, and she didn't come back. We didn't know how to tell my sister that our cat was missing, so we didn't. But we were all really worried. We put up missing posters, and after almost two this months of being home missing, and it's missing, she just appeared in the backyard. I don't know what, what? happened in that two-month period. She looked fine. Maybe she got adopted by another family, and now some poor family is missing their cat, Salem. Maybe she went out looking for my sister and got lost. Maybe she started acting in some Japanese TV shows. Who knows? But we found her. We didn't even tell my sister that her cat okay. had been missing until after we found Pepsi. So she wasn't very happy about that. Then Luna passed away. It was sad, but cats don't live forever. Sorry. Sailor Moon wasn't even a good show anyway. Now, long-time Odd Ones Out fans might know this next story. My older brother found another kitten at the gym he worked at, brought her home, and named her Azula. 
But the name Azula didn't stick because we found out that Azula was a dude. I was the one, by the way, who saw Azula's firebenders and told everyone. <laughs> Just wanted to get that part of the story straight. Firebenders? So Azula's name had to change. And while this was happening, <laughs> we had a French foreign exchange student living with us. And she didn't know the word for kitten. So she called him the baby cat. And then we Z-baby. all started calling him the baby cat. And now that's Z-baby. his name, baby cat. That's how he got his name, baby cat. Since we're on the topic of pets, I have something that I probably should have mentioned a while ago. For the most part, I try to keep this channel goofy and lighthearted, which is probably why I waited so long to tell you this. But around Christmas of 2017, my dog Georgie passed away. You might remember her in some of my older videos. She was 13 years old, and just like the cats, it was her time to go. Yes, it was sad, but that's what happens to pets. They become your best friend, but they're not in your life forever. So if you have pets, remember to appreciate them now. I wouldn't have changed anything about Georgie's life. She was a good dog. Aw. Oh, sevens, chat. Sorry, that part got a little personal. <laughs> and my dog, Poppy, did not take Georgie's death very well, so my parents had to get an emotional support dog for their dog, and they got Jax, because he liked to jump, so he was their jumping Jax. Aw, what a good name. Hello, everyone. It's been Let's a while go! since I posted one of these things. Woo-hoo! Between Thanksgiving and YouTube Rewind, I've been pretty busy. Speaking of YouTube Rewind, what did you guys think of it? I mean, I liked I, I wasn't there. I'm not just saying that because I had a speaking role in the video. And no, I'm not salty that this year's Rewind is getting a lot of extra hate, even though I was featured more prominently in it. I'm fine with that. I get it. <laughs> if I sound different, that's because I'm using a different microphone and I'm tired. I wanted to do something new with this video in that I wanted to release a shirt to go along with the video. I'm always Ooh. trying to keep my merch store fresh with new stuff, so if you like the video and you like cats, Buy the shirt. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I did a whole video on cats and didn't even say the word p- Huge shout out to everyone who worked on this video. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't I be able to make these there, videos James. as quick I know what you did as there, I bro. do. They're not quick. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this video. As always, what? wait, what's this? Buckle up. It's Alex Clark challenged me to a chess boxing match? Oh, well, you're on, dude. Wear your seatbelt. There it is, hamsters, fam. That's the next one we're going to peep out is hamsters. Bruh, holy cats, Batman. Fam, let me bring in here. Shh, hold on, hold on. We back. That's a lot of cats. I, uh, okay, so you, as you guys know, I'm uh, the lucky father of two daughters. We have a cat. My kids somehow are a magnet to stray cats, dude. Stray cats. And they're always like, Dad, can we, can we bring it home? Can we go pet it? I'm like, no, it's got COVID. End of story. All stray cats have COVID. You can't bring them home. 100%. And I'm just so, like, I let my daughters pet other people's dogs or random dogs if they seem nice. Not cats, though, dude. I got bit by a cat once. I literally almost lost my arm to it uh, because I waited too long to go to the ER and it started swelling up and I, this massive red ring started going around and. Yeah, I almost got a blood infection from it. So, long story short, stray cats are not welcome in this house. Ain't happening, bruh. Go to James's house. He allows stray cats there. But this video is awesome. I love learning about people's pets. 07s for all the cats he lost and his dog. That That's really sad. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free. And it greatly helps out the channel. Enjoy the rest of your night. And remember... It's eat, sleep, and make beats, and as usual, be kind to one another. And that's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Uh, got nothing but love of all the song. Game. Peace out. I'm weird, I know. Ah!